All right, today's video is 170 Wood Street Donald on the market with Northwest Real Estate for $339,000. This is a very unique home, something a bit different. You don't see it in the Wimmera Mallee very often. It's three bedrooms, one bathroom, two car spaces, but about three living areas, good heating and cooling. And we're going to check it out inside. It, um, it's very unique property and I'll show you as we go through. So I'm just up under the carport and it's weatherboard, but it hasn't been painted, it's been oiled. So, uh, well the white has obviously been painted, but the brown is oil. So it's a bit like a wet western red cedar in a lot of ways, the way you oil it. So it's a bit unique that way, but we'll go and check it out inside. So I've just walked inside the front door and we're greeted by Buddha. As you can see, this back or front half of the house, I should say, is very unique. It's very um, English, I suppose you'd say. We come around into the lounge. We've got a big bay window. A lot of wood panel. I call that the king's chair. It's a bit unique too. You don't see that very often in Australia. Well, not in the houses I visit anyway. We've got evaporative cooling on the roof. Big fireplace there. They don't use that heater. But all sorts of interesting features. We'll come out and keep the video rolling because otherwise we'll miss something. So we've got the formal dining room. It's almost a house of doors too. There's a lot of doors in this house, which is of the era too. Another fireplace, that's an open fireplace in behind that tapestry. More wood panel. Another door that goes out onto the veranda, plus the big double entry doors. Round to the kitchen. Got an island bench, sink, a dishwasher, pantry cupboard there, electric wall oven and hot plates. Then across to the casual dining area. And this is a sitting room, it's an internal room. Dirty big wood heater. Geez, that'll pump out some heat. Keep you busy uh, cutting wood too, I reckon. Got a skylight that lets in plenty of natural light. Once again, more doors. So you can open the house right up when you get this wood heater cracking. Open the house right up and the heat would flow through or close it up if you just want to heat one room. So we've come through into the passage. We've got a linen press there, round to the bathroom, the tiles, big vanity, big mirror, bath, toilet. There is two toilets in the place. And a big shower and a nice lead light window. Down the passage into bedroom, we'll call this bedroom three. Those people are a bit like a lot of other uh, parents. The kids move out but don't really move out and uh, leave all their stuff here. <laughs> it's a bit of a joke when I was listing the house for sale. Big built in robe there. Nice size room. Around the corner into possibly the biggest master bedroom that I've seen. Bigger than my lounge room at home, I reckon. Around to the second lounge. Oop, turned the wrong light off. So we have a second lounge room here with polished boards, split system up there on the wall. Once again, a big sliding door there. Around to bedroom three. You know, I was saying about the kids, that, adult kids that move out and don't really move out. Here's another example, the Bundy Bear. Probably a sign of a misspent youth. Got the evaporative cooling outlet here and heaps of built in robes. Uh, 
around to the laundry. Filled in trough. And we didn't close the toilet, but the second toilet. So this would have been a built-in veranda at some stage and this sort of links the second living area and the kitchen dining. Got floorboards here, we have a photo gallery and we've come right back around to the kitchen dining as you can see. So I've just come outside into the pergola, got a bit of a water feature going there, double carport and then a bay window over the kitchen sink. Just let a bit more lighting. The uh, the bath there is for the dog. Run the handle of the heat real well, the big fella, and he loves to jump in that. Got the shed here. Concrete floor, power, and uh, yeah, like most sheds, needs a bit of attention. got solar panels on the roof too so there's the inverter there on the wall second half of the shed just the garden shed this bit so it's just come out of the pergola into the backyard there's a big slope on the block it runs from front to back and it overlooks some wetlands out the back which actually we have for sale at the moment owned by these people so if you're interested in about 20.6 hectares in town let me know yeah, you know, we everyone that watches my videos watches for the hills hoist, and we don't have a hills hoist on this place. We have one of these rollout clotheslines. Got a big rainwater tank there. Little lean to. A very nice established leafy garden. That shade cloth's just protecting the sliding door in the second living room, keeping the sun off it. We've got a back gate that opens up onto a lane. It's only a small lane, but it's a lane. And then on the other side of that's the wetlands I was telling you about. Goes down to the Richardson River. That was a bit of a pump station for GWM. So we're back out the front. This is 170 Wood Street, Donald, on the market with Northwest Real Estate for $339,000. It's a very unique home in the Wimmera Mallee, very appealing, very uh, different for anyone, anything else you will see on the market. And if you'd like any more information on it, it's three bedrooms, one bathroom, two car spaces on about a thousand square metres of land, maybe a fraction under. And it's for sale with Northwest Real Estate. My name's John Hadley, and you can contact me on 0428 560 630 and thank you for watching my video.